Good day, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Nandi. I'm back again today. We are going to discuss how to make a uh, frequency histogram using Excel. So I will share my screen with you. So this is the data that I have. I have already typed in the data in an Excel uh, screen, as you can see. And uh, we'll see what the data is all about. The data is about sales tax, percentage sales tax. So this is in my uh, data in uh, column A, and it goes from A1 through A30, okay? So I will highlight this uh, column for X uh, to make a histogram, I will highlight the data. And notice my first row is as heading of sales tax, okay? So let's uh, highlight it again and starts from A1 through, we move down. Uh, let's uh, not uh, worry about it initially. So this is my data from A1 through uh, its sales tax data. So I'll remove all this. Its sales tax is the data. And it is a A1 sales tax percentage, uh, A1 through A30, okay? So let's make a frequency histogram. In order to make a frequency histogram, I will um, uh, go to insert, okay? Insert, so I on the top row of Excel screen, I highlight insert, and then I'm going to select a histogram, okay? So I go over here, <clears throat> so I highlight the histogram and I'm going to make a histogram, okay? So I click here, okay? So this is the histogram that has been made uh, for me. And of course I can modify this. Uh, how will I modify this? For example, suppose I want to modify the width of the groups. Right now I have three classes or three groups of data. Personally, I think it's too small. So I will right click on the axis, horizontal axis. Let's see. should be able to right click on the horizontal axis and change the number of bins or the number of groups. But right now it is not uh, cancel. No, I want to right click on the horizontal axis. Okay. I want to right click on the horizontal axis. So I want to change the access. I want to change, okay? And I click on this. And primary horizontal, I want to change, okay? And 
So I went on the primary horizontal axis and axis options, more axis options. Now I, want, now I want to change, say for example, I want to change the number of beans. It is three, I want to make it five, okay? So I change the number of beans. Beans means number of groups on the horizontal axis. And let's see what happens, okay? Suppose I want to also uh, increase, uh, change the bar width. Right now the bean width, the width of each horizontal group is 1.45. I want to make it say more even, okay? So let's uh, make it, uh, say, suppose I want to make it uh, bean width of, Two, okay. Let's see how that affects it. Okay, so right now there are four classes and the number of beans are four, okay. Uh, I can make it, I can change the number of beans, okay. Number of groups to five, okay. And let's see what happens then. So when I do that, uh, the bean width becomes 1.45. And right now, the way the data stands, bean width, uh, I change the number of beans, that is the number of groups on the horizontal axis, it is two. And the bean width is automatically, that is the width, horizontal width or width of each group is selected as automatically 1.45. I control the number of groups, which I made five. Initially, it was three groups or three beans. Beans here means number of groups on the horizontal axis. And uh, I wanted to make it five to you know, get a better idea of the shape of the distribution. As you can see, the distribution is skewed to the left. Look at the class with the highest height or the highest frequency. It is between 5.8 and 7.25. That is the last bean or the last group. It has the highest relative frequency or the highest height, highest frequency or highest height. Okay. That means maximum numbers are between 5.8 and 7.25, maximum entry in the data. So it tells me if I look to the left of this. Uh, class of bean with the highest height or highest frequency. Most of the data are on the left or almost all of the data are on the left of this class with the highest frequency. That means this data is skewed to the left, which means there are large number of small percentage of cell stacks, okay? And so it is skewed to the left. It is negatively skewed data, okay? And uh, I can, uh, do a lot of other things. I can change the chart title if I like. So I can make it uh, uh, edit the text and I can say sales percent. Okay. Or uh, sales tax percent, I should say, I guess. Sales tax percent. Okay, so bottom line, you type the data in in column A of your Excel spreadsheet, then go to insert and insert a, a frequency histogram, and then you can play with the number of beans you want. Usually five to six is a good number of beans. Uh, when you select the number of beans, the program will automatically select the width of bin, which is the group width, the class width, Okay, and uh, what is the purpose of selecting the number of beans? You want to keep it between five and six, maximum seven, because you want to see the shape of the distribution or the shape of the data. If you have too few beans, like three, you won't be able to exactly identify the nature of the distribution. On the other hand, if you have too many beans, like eight or 10, you will also not be able to um, discern or find out the shape of the distribution. So ideally between five and six bins is good.
So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. Uh, please like my channel, please subscribe to it. And um, if you have any question, write a comment, I'll get back to you. Please subscribe to my channel, please like my work because I come back every work week and with new problems which I solve in statistics. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.